Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adewale Yusuf. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide or show slicer based on another slicer content. Have you ever worked on Power BI and you feel that you want to hide a particular slicer based on whatever you select in another slicer or you just want to hide some content inside that slicer? This video is going to show you that. Let's go right into it. So on my screen here, I have the simple dashboards that show just this simple report and this simple report basically has a switch uh, between uh, metrics and uh, um, the metrics include cost and order value. So if I select order value, uh, the value change, and if I select cost, the value also change. Now, so what I want to achieve right here is that when cost is selected, I don't want this device type to be to be able to be selected because this device type are not related to cost, right? They are only related to order value because the costs are based on different things, not particularly on device type because we don't base a cost based on device type. So the user are finding it difficult to kind of have these two filter here when they know that cost is actually does not have anything to do with device type. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a measure that is going to filter this based on this, right? And it's pretty simple. So to do that, I'm going to come here and I do um, new measure. So I'm going to write a simple measure, which is going to particularly filter this and also filter this. So I'm going to start with um, a measure called, um, basically what I want to call this measure is I want to know, I want to check device type. So if device type is selected, basically I'm trying to do the two actually. So let me start with metrics. So I want to check if metric is selected, which is the uh, uh, cost and metric is selected, then I don't want this device to show anything. So basically I'm going to do, uh, let me just call this measure metric uh, check. So call this metrics um, check right i'm going to check the metrics right. measure check and basically the, the function i want to use here is very simple so i'm going to do if right is filtered is filtered so what is filtered if the device type is filtered right which is the device type this is my device type right if device type is filtered then i want you to return one right sorry comma i want you to return one s zero right which is this which is this makes a lot of sense is device type is selected i want you to return one and then i want to if it's not selected i want you to return zero Right? Let me eat and turn this. Now you're going to understand what this means. So I'm going to write another measure for the device type now so that when this is selected, the device type is not showing anything. So let me right click my measure and do new measure again. In this measure, I'm going to type device type uh, check, right? And it's actually pretty simple forward. It's the same thing. I'm going to say if and after the if, what I'm basically going to do is say selected value. If the selected value, if the selected value, if the selected value of metrics, right? Metrics, which is the metrics, metrics, right? Is equals to cost, right? Which is the cost here, the cost here cost if selected value is equal to cost then i want to return one then s i want to return zero now let me hit enter so what this means is practically simple so i can go to my device type here my device type here and i will go to filter right filter here we do a lot of things but make sure you are on these um, slides are first before you go to filter then i'm going to bring in my device type check, right? You know, I write a measure called device type check. So I'm going to put it on this visual. And I'm going to say it is zero. So at all time is zero. That's just a simple trick, right? Is zero. So when this is zero, you know, my function said if, um, let me show you the measure again. So the measure basically shows that if selected value metric is, is equal to cost, then return one, S zero. So when is the cost? It's going to return one. So when it's zero, that's when it's going to, when it's not cost, that's when it's going to return zero and I'll make it zero now. So if you look at order value, you will see I have some items here, but when I change it to cost, uh, because I've filtered it to zero, you see there's nothing to show on device type. Nothing to show on device type, right? Now, another thing I can do is, what if somebody is already on um, order type? Because 
and somebody has already selected something here i don't want them to be able to go back to cost because when they select cost and the mobile at the same time then the value is going to be wrong right so i'm going to do another measure on this on this device type which is what i call metrics look at the metrics so sorry not that one metric check so the metric checks i says if it's filtered so i'm going to go to metric value and also add my metric checks to the metric values to say when device type is filtered i don't even want you to show the cost right so i'm going to come here and say is i'm going to say also is zero right and apply so what this means is if you look at my metric check you go to my metric check you look at my metric check if it's filtered then one s zero so if this guy is filtered one s zero right so if i come here now i see how this but if somebody wants to come here and select cost they won't be able to select cost because this is filtered right on on the hence you come back here and you select this then now you'll be able to see cost because device type is not filtered that's another trick now i can also do it in such a way that i want to hide this entire filter itself but the way to do that very easily is when you are using the slicer type vertical list right let's assume i'm using a vertical list here and i'm also using the slicer type um, vertical list here as well so when you select this you have this and then when you select this you don't have this and then if i come back here so i think i'll also make sure that i don't have this selection select hall um, active right so when you select this you see that you have something here and then when you select this you see that you have something here so basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a measure that is going to hide this my slicer header it's going to hide the slicer header basically right and then um, particularly also the background because i have a background here so but let me hide the slicer header so i'm going to say if cost is selected then i don't want to see anything in the slicer header so i can come here and do new measure i can do new measure then in my new measure i'm going to say device um header color right header color device header color rename that header color and this measure is basically simple so i'm going to do if again if selected value so selected value uh metric which is the metric remember the metric metric uh, yep is equals to what is equals to cost which is the cost um then when is equals to cost what do i want then i want the color to be probably let's say white and then s let's say okay let me close my clothes for you s let's say black right black so which is just a simple color right you can actually i mean just the way you like so what i'm basically going to do is I'm, i'll go to this slicer header type here uh slicer header and i'll go to the color use fx and I'll change this to feed value and I'm going to change this to my new measure, which is called um, ed header color. So when I click OK, then you see that the header is also going to disappear, right? But also always good when you're using a black, a, a white background for this as well, so that everything blends, right? So when I click this, you see that this pop up when I see this, you see that um, that disappears. So if this video really helped, please give it a thumbs up, a like and also a comment. Thank you.